Hi there, my name is Tracy from the Vinyu Stamps and I'm going to be showing you today how to use the jelly plate. Now, as a lot of you already know, I love using the Spiebel Soft Rubber Roller and now I'm quite addicted to the jelly plate as well. Now this way we can actually combine the two. I'll be using the jelly plate, the Bray Roller, the Adirondack inks and the Versifying inks. So products you're already familiar with. Um, so I really do hope you enjoy these YouTube clips and it inspires you to go away and have a go yourselves. I absolutely love it. Hope you do too. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to be using the uh, jelly plate for this demonstration. Um, I've chosen the smaller one just because of room, but um, there's no real advantage or disadvantage to having the small or the large. It's, um, it's personal choice really on what size you prefer working with. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Speedball Soft Rubber Roller and then a number of different uh, Adirondack ink pads and also the Versafine ink pads which we're going to be stamping onto the jelly plate. So choosing our first colour which is the butterscotch inking up the brayer, we're just going to transfer that colour straight over to the jelly plate. And then moving on to another colour, this is the uh, purple twilight. And again, inking up, transferring that over to the jelly plate and just blending the colour in. And now we're working with stream. So again, inking up. transferring straight over and blending that in again. Okay, so we've got three different colours on the jelly plate. Doesn't look like there's much colour going on there, but you'll see later on how vivid these colours actually come out. Now I'm going to use a mask and all I've done here is cut round a stamped out image of our new Zentangle mushroom house. Now remembering to place face down and pop that down like so. And now we're going to decorate the jelly plate using a number of different stamps and ink pads. Okay, so starting with the majestic blue. and one of our Zentangle foliage stamp. We're just going to dot these around the mask. Okay, so changing stamp now, another Zentangle. This time we're going to use the uh, crimson red, so inking up again and then just pop a few of those down. <clears throat> And again, 
we're going to use the Spanish moss and another Zentangle stamp. And all we're doing is building up textures, layers, colours and you'll be amazed at the results. Okay. Now, I've just grabbed a smooth plain white card. Now all I'm going to do is place that down, give it a gentle rub over the top. Make sure that you've covered all the areas. And then lift off. And as you can see, well, you can see how vivid the colours really are. That's just truly amazing. Okay, so moving on now. We're going to cut down our image. Now, using our Zentangle Mushroom House, we're going to now ink up in the Onyx Black Versify. And then simply line that up the best that we can don't worry if you leave any areas out or we'll touch those up after. Okay, so placing down. Give that a really good press. There. Now using our water pen and on this occasion we're going to use stream I'm just going to go around the edge of the mushroom house and this kind of fills in any white gaps that you may have but it also sort of highlights the mushroom kind of jumps out at you So just take your time, go around the edge. There we go. So you can leave the mushroom white if you choose or you can add a little bit of colour I'm just going to um, put the lights on in the house and just put a little colour just to take the starkness away Okay, so the mushroom, it's um, floating slightly, so all we're going to do is tear some paper, create our mountain, or our hill, oops, line that up now. And 
and then using our cut and dry and stream or whatever colour you would prefer we're just going to take that over the edge There we go, and that's, that's grounded our mushroom house now. Okay, so now we're going to go around the edge of the card using the cut and dry. So placing that down on our craft mat, which is a bit waxy. We're going to then use a couple of colours just to go around the edge. So choosing watermelon Now the craft mat, it makes it much easier to actually glide across your card with your cut and dry. And what else also helps to blend the colour is the fact that the card is already saturated in ink, so therefore it's much easier to blend. Okay, so I'm um, using a little bit of the stream now. Cut and dry. That gives us a really nice sort of two-tone colour. And just by darkening the edge, kind of pulls your eye into the picture. like so. Okay, so we're going to finish off now with one more stamp so again inking up in the Onyx Black Versafine we're just going to pop this down next to the mushroom. Which is a great little verse to go with our image. Okay, so finishing off with a little bit of glitter just dotting our liquid pearls around the edge of the mushroom. And then using our Jones Tones glitter, bob a little bit of that over the top and then tap that off and there we have our final picture moving on to our next demonstration we're going to do exactly the same as we did before choosing a number of different Adirondack inks and again using the Versafine inks and our Brayer Roller so this time starting with sunshine yellow, inking up transfer that over to your jelly plate
Moving on to Cranberry. Inking up and transfer straight over. I'm going to put just a little more on that. Okay. Take any excess ink off your roller and then I'm moving on to Wild Plum. Now as you can see I'm only ever inking up just part of the brayer and that's just because we're banding our colours. Okay so again just blending that into the other colours. So I'm going to do the same as before, stamped out my image and then face down, just bob that down in the middle of the jelly plate and then we're going to decorate around the edge using a number of different stamps. Okay. So I'm going to use the Crimson Red Versify, inking up, And now the Deep Lagoon. And moving on to our habanero. And then I've got a few little of our uh, Zentangle mush, um, mini stamps here. So just using these, they're great um, fillers. You know, for any areas that you may have missed out, all we're going to do is just ink up and just dot. few of those about. Okay, so changing colour. going to use the Spanish moss here Now, 
using a plain piece of card, white card, we're just going to pop that down over the top. Now this is always the exciting bit. I think that's what I like about the jelly plate. You never quite know what you're going to get. And nine times out of ten, it's always a very pleasant surprise. Okay. Just smooth that over, peel it off, and wow. Okay. You can see all this texture, colour, pattern. It's just... Um, I absolutely love working with the jelly plate. Right, so moving on. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, we're now going to um, use our acorn house stamp and just stamp over our mask area. So, inking up in our onyx black, lining up the best we can. As I said before, don't worry too much if you miss any areas. Give that a good press down. There we go. Now trimming down. Okay, so I'm going to use stream again to go around the edge. So water brush and then just take it round the edge. And if you want to add a little bit of colour to the acorn, I'm going to use a bit of cranberry here. Just takes that starkness off. And let's tear another mountain because I can't find my other one. Okay. So just lining that up now using cut and dry and our stream. Take that over the edge. And then this side as well. Okay, and that just grounds our acorn now.
so going back to the crafting mat picking a couple of colours just to go around the edge now like I showed you before now even though you're going over this texture pattern and colour it just highlights everything that's going on here Okay, so finally we're just going to use our liquid pearls and our glitter. Well, sometimes I actually use a glue pen, the two way glue pen, and a foil. Uh, that's just another way of decorating and highlighting the actual um, card that you've finished. So, uh, but on this occasion, I'm just going to use the liquid pearl just for quickness okay so just dot Right, and then sprinkling the glitter over the top. Give that a tap off. And there we have another really beautiful uh, coloured, textured, patterned card that I have so enjoyed doing.